Pepper says, are you ready to declutter another section of this hoarded basement? I know I am. It is that time of the week again. It is time to declutter another section in this hoarded basement. And last week we made amazing progress opening up this space. But for today, we're going to focus in this area right over here. Hello everyone and welcome back to A Hoarder's Heart. For today, we are back in this basement again because the weather has been very rainy the past two weeks. It's cloudy, it's rainy, it's not good to create outdoor videos like completing the shed, the back patio, and the yard sale. It's kind of crazy. Our weatherman even said, like, who cursed our area with all this rain and clouds and coldness, especially over the weekends? I don't know. I can't control the weather, but I know sunny days are on their way so what we can do is we can adjust and what we're going to do is declutter this section right behind me because the goal for this summer is to completely get the basement done so the weather is not going to stop us from our goals so we're just going to be doing a traditional clean out decluttering talking about the emotions attached to the items and something that i'm realizing is that these areas they've been decluttered before so majority of the trash is gone. So now we have real items that I have to make decisions on. I used to struggle identifying what was trash and what was not because I always saw the potential in the trash. Now that I have a pretty firm grasp upon it, it's time to evolve. It's time to go to the next section and looking at functional items and can I now let go of them? They're not trash per se, I could still use them, but can I start to untangle that story and separate the two and start to let go of more physical items? This right here is a perfect example of logical decluttering. It clearly says 2017. So before I started this channel, I was trying each year to clean out my hoarded house so I would try anything new. This actually is a great strategy, but it was logical. And I tried it, I printed out, I took the action steps where I thought that I could, and I stumbled. Couldn't commit, couldn't continue, because I was not logically there to make quick decisions to let go of stuff. I had an overwhelming amount of stuff in the kitchen back then. But now in 2024, now that we've uh, released a lot of those emotions that I have tangled to this stuff, I almost wonder, can I do it now? And almost, I wonder if I can reword this too. Here's something else I'm gonna show you. Puppy dog calendar. I made a decision to let go of this sometime last year. It's even falling apart. And for some reason, I took it out to the trash and I freaked out and I didn't wanna let it go. This was Brandon's calendar in 2010 that I put in his room because he loved his puppy dogs. When I saw the calendar, it reminded me of when he was a two-year-old and how much he loved the puppies. And it literally transported me into that time period again when he was little and he loved looking at the puppies and he would tell me the day of the week and what the day was and all these cute memories were ignited again. And I almost felt like if I throw this out, I'm throwing away those memories because I am very forgetful. As someone with ADHD, I'm very forgetful. As I look at it now, we, we can let go of it. This is not something high up to save, right? It's just a calendar. But his cute little t-shirts, his favorite puppy dog, his blankie, those things are more important and sentimental to keep. So now we're going to lovingly detach ourselves from that story and let this go. Okay, this bin had had a uh, label on it. I don't see it, but I know that it's home decor. Is this it? Here it is. <laughs> it was right there, it fell off. So this bin right here has home decor in it, but there's other things mixed in here as well. Like here we have an S that's really pretty. And then here are some pumpkin napkins. This stuff has to go with the fall stuff because if it's mixed with home decor, I'm not going to be able to find it to create those DIY crafts that I would like to do maybe in August. Nope. I'm going to look in here and see if there's something that we can declutter because there's always something you can let go of. But what's being ignited when I go through this home decor bin 
is that probably for the past two years, I've been dreaming of completely making over the living room, making it more updated because it's kind of still stuck in 2008, like in that color scheme. And I keep picturing, how am I going to change it? How am I going to make it look? So it's not to say that that's not bad. It's not to say that when we redo the living room that I have some pieces on hand that I can already use. That's a good thing. The point is that I have to make sure that whatever that looks like, it has to be contained in this container. And when we finally do update the living room, which, you know, I'm kind of getting inspired. Maybe we should do it this summer, you know, that whatever's not used, we really have to make a firm decision to let it go. So as we're going through a lot of this childhood stuff, I am going to share that a lot of childhood things I'm not going to get rid of. I'm just, I'm not there. It is a strong 10 emotionally that I want to hold on to them. And a lot of that is because a lot of this stuff internally is still self-soothing, unprocessed trauma from my childhood. And where I'm at present day is that I still, I still need to hold on to it. And that's okay, I'm allowing myself. It's going to be contained, it's in a container. We can find a couple little things maybe that we can let go of, but I'm allowing myself grace because I recognize that it's still really self-soothing my nervous system, so it's okay. But something else that I want to point out is some of this stuff, some of the toys are in pristine condition that I had created as a child. As one is going to be this Barbie little jewelry organizer. And the other thing is going to be these stickers. I kept them all in a bag. I never peeled them. I kept them in this perfect condition and it was the troll books. <laughs> the reason why I was doing this as a child is because early on I had recognized that, you know, the, the kids were a little tougher on me because I was too nice <laughs> and I was almost a pushover. I knew I wasn't perfect but I felt like I had to be perfect to be accepted by everyone. And that includes like, not only just the kids, my teachers and my parents and adults, like and my parents were wonderful. My aunts and everything were wonderful. I kind of created that scenario in my mind that if I wasn't this perfect child with perfect manners, with perfect grades, with perfect personality, then I was almost, worthless to people that I wasn't good enough so a way I could control the situation as a child was keep my toys or certain toys in this perfect condition and it's just showing another scenario on how I had intertwined my self-worth so tightly to external items it's just another clue as to why someone like me with hoarding disorder has such connections to these external things that it almost feels impossible to let go of certain items. And I'm just trying to humanize and bring to light that mindset, that connection, that thought process so that everyone can kind of understand it a little better so that we can come together, support one another, understand the mindset, and hopefully encourage each other and let them know that I understand, I get it, I'm sorry you had to go through that, but let's, let's start to, let's start to loosen up those emotional ties to all the external items and start letting stuff go, you know? <laughs> All right, moving on to this bin. This is my Vixens bin. This is perfect timing because this is part of my crew team. And we're just gonna move this over to the side. The Vixens is part of a rowing team that I'm on and we have a big race in Philadelphia, June 1st, coming up soon. But this just reinforces on how wonderful it is to be organized because I don't need to buy anything. Everything I got is right here and I know exactly where it's at. Oh, moving on to this. This has a lot of dust. And me and hubby bought this when we were in like 
college probably like very young and it was kind of like a oh every time we travel we'll buy a shot glass <laughs> from every place we visited and put it in this nice little shot glass thing now the thing is that we never used it we're just not big drinkers we're just we're just not i mean we can let this go we can put it in the yard sale or something like there's really no need to keep holding on to this. My gosh, this is very old. Operation Christmas Child bin. And every time we had Operation Christmas, like I would just squirrel some stuff into this bin. I might downsize this even more. I might even completely get rid of everything that's in here. I feel more confident doing that. Getting rid of it in the sense of giving it to the church who does host it. I don't know if they have a storage area where they put their operation christmas child stuff but i almost kind of feel like half of the time i just buy the bin with the boys and like go to dollar tree and pick out stuff for them anyway so all the components in here it, it it's time to go it's time to finally let this go Moving on to the next bin is it's not really labeled uh okay it's computer stuff computer stuff Hubby, what are we doing with it? This is a scanners. Things in here that I'm not really quite sure. Oh, there's a laptop in here. All kinds of old texts and goodies. And Hubby, I'm going to need you to make decisions. What are we keeping? What are we uh, letting go of here? <laughs> Next bin. I see that we have some more childhood kind of stuff in here. Oh, yeah, we do. Um, Not toys as much. A lot of this stuff looks like my trophies. I was on a bowling league when I was a kid and we won. We were really good. <laughs> really, here's our uh, first trophy for first place. We were four girls. I think we were in fifth grade and we won. <laughs> and we were the rock and bowlers. <laughs> that was our name. I always feel like when it, there's something this sentimental, like all my childhood stuff, as long as it stays in its container, as long as it's contained and labeled and we know where it is, it's fine. There's other things that we are letting go of along the way. And honestly, that's all that really matters is that we're micro decluttering. We're taking it at a section of the time and we're letting go of what feels right in our heart because me and Miss Pepper are so happy to show you this huge tossy tossy pile. Yes, we're letting go of a lot of stuff. And of course, most of it's going to be recycled as best as we can. Some stuff will be given away and some stuff will also be in the yard sale. And now let's show you that newly opened up space in the basement. Right over here, you can walk straight up to the bins. They're labeled, they're stacked here temporarily. You can see everything. We're doing great. We're making amazing progress. And honestly, that's all that matters. You can do this too. Doesn't matter if you have hoarding disorder or if you just wanna clean out a section of your home. You totally got this. And my hope and my prayer is that this video motivated and encouraged you to clean, declutter, and let something go in your home today too.